My name is Morgan, and I'm a Clydesdale. <laughs> I led the Firehouse Stagecoach team of Clydesdale horses for 11 years. Most of my life, I had dreams of being in the Kentucky Derby. When I was just a pony, I saw racehorses running in the Derby. They were tall, beautiful, and sleek. They could run like the wind. Every morning, I would eat my hay, run around in my corral and tell my friends that one day I would win the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> yep, because... You can be anything, anything, anything. You can be anything if you believe. Kool-Aid the barn rat said, shabba dabba doo -wop. no way. My name and that's a fact If you ain't got soul, you ain't got jack Morgan the Clydesdale, you goofy pony If you think you'll win the derby, you're full of baloney shabba dabba doo -wop, no way shabba dabba doo -wop, not today shabba dabba doo -wop, too much pain Friend Sasha the cat and Millie the cow, they think that you're loony. You need to stop now. Oscar the owl and Pokey the pig say you enter the race and a grave you will dig. Shabba dabba doo wop, no way. Shabba dabba doo wop, not today. Shabba dabba doo wop, too much pain. Shabba dabba, you're great. Love you, little pony, like a stepbrother, just like kinfolk, but from another mother. Enter the race, you're bound for trouble. You better stop now, on the double. Shabba dabba, you're cray cray. Sasha the cat purred, Meow how, meow how, you so crazy. Peace. <laughs> 
Melly the Kyle said, you got to move real fast. You move too slow. I was in the pasture. Oscar the Barn Owl hooted, hoo hoo, hoo hoo, do you think you are? How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? One, two, three, four, five. The world may never, ever know. Just like the famous sea biscuit, Mama Romana wore secretariat, but you're too slow and way too fat. Who do you think you are? You never run a race this far. You're too fat and you're too slow. You're no racehorse, don't you know? Racehorses have to be spelt and slick. Just like the famous sea biscuit, Barbara Mana wore secretariat, but you're too slow and way too fat. And Pokey the Pig just grunted, <coughs> foolish, <coughs> foolish pony.
smacking his lips, singing his song that he was gonna win. What a silly fool to dream so big. Take him to the vet to have his brain reset. Grunt, grunt, foolish. Grunt, grunt, As I grew older, I got bigger, wider, and stronger. I was twice as wide as the racehorses and twice as strong, but I was also twice as slow. Still, I never gave up on my dream. <laughs> no, I didn't, because... You can be anything, anything, anything. You can be anything if you believe. One spring... Horses from all over the world came to run in the Kentucky Derby. The most famous horse was Big Red. Everyone knew he would win. I am Big Red, other horses dread. I've won horse races all over the land. Fit, well-toned, I know that I'm grand. I am Big Red. He is Big Red. A human, I know that I'm grand. I am Big Red. He is Big Red. He is Big Red. He is Big Red. He is Big Red. What's my name? Big Red. On race day, people filled the grandstands in their finest clothes. Kool-Aid and Oscar put on the long tail coats with brightly colored vests. Sasha and Millie wore big feathered hats. But Pokey just grunted, loser, <laughs> loser. <laughs> big Red led the race on a practice lap. And suddenly, a huge rainstorm swept over the track. Lightning flashed. Thunder crashed. Rain fell like buckets. The track turned into a muddy swamp. On the last turn, Big Red slipped in the mud and crashed head over heels in the mud. Six more horses slipped and fell on top of him. The crowd gasped. Oh, no. Big Red got to his feet, but something was wrong. He limped back to the stables, disappointed that he couldn't run in the derby. Still, the bugler played the call to post. My owner and Big Red's jockey looked at me. I thought to myself, could this be the day I've been waiting for my whole life? Really? My owner said, Morgan, I need you today. Are you ready? And I said in a big horsey way, yeah, because you can be anything, 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 you can be anything if you believe. The men dressed me in a blanket and a racing saddle. I was looking good. I trotted to the gates and stood next to the other race horses. I could hear them breathing heavy as my heart started just pounding in my chest. They're off in the Kentucky Derby, shouted the announcer. My gate opened, and I bolted out onto the track. I ran as fast as I could. All I could see was hooves and tail, and through the second turn, I fell even further behind. On the back stretch, the other horses began to slip and slide. My big feet didn't slip a bit and I was holding my ground. When we got into the third turn, the announcer raised his voice, and here they come down the track in the back stretch. The crowd roared, 
As I turned for home, I saw racehorses coming to that pond-sized puddle where Big Red fell. It looked like a big glass tabletop lying on the racetrack. The lead horse plunged into that puddle and he slipped and fell head over heels as the other horses fell on the top of him just like what happened to Big Red. My jockey said, come on Morgan, now's our chance. As he stirred me to the right, we ran around a pile of muddy horses and jockeys. They all looked like they were made of chocolate. My jockey yelled, keep going Morgan, we're almost there. I saw Kool-Aid the rat and Millie the cow standing at the inside rail. Millie shouted, come on Morgan, move, move, come on. Kool-Aid said, shabba do we, now you can do it. I put my head down and galloped as fast as I could. As I crossed the finish line in first place, everyone cheered my name, Morgan, Morgan. Yippee! cried my jockey. Yoo hoo! Hooted Oscar the Owl. Mia wow! Mia wow! purred Sasha the cat. And even Pokey the pig cheered. First place. Winner. I pranced to the winner circle, and the stewards gave me a blanket of red roses, and a trophy, and a blue ribbon. I had the biggest smile on my face because my dream came true. That was the happiest day of my life because... I went back to the farm, and I led the firehouse stagecoach team for 11 years. I ate my hay and trotted around my corral like a thoroughbred racehorse. My friends clapped and cheered. But today is the greatest day of my life because my son told me, Daddy, I want to be a racehorse. And I said to him, son, you can be anything you want to be if you believe it in your heart, even if you are just a Clydesdale pony. <laughs> yep, <laughs> because you can be anything, anything, anything. You can be anything if you believe. Sing it with you me. You can be anything, anything, anything. You can be anything if you believe. You can be anything, anything. You can be anything if you believe You can be anything, anything, anything You can be anything if you believe 
the end. <laughs> Believe. 